Uh, the fact that it was two years ago, over two years ago now. Um, the fact that he wanted to move on, and since then he's went on the radio and talked about it. He's done it again. Um, in 2017, I addressed it. Um, I told you guys on front of the camera that I wish I'd have handled it differently. I did it again in 2018 in spring training on day one. Said the same thing. Um, we had a meeting set up in 2017 here at the field. Got here early, an hour and a half, two hours after I get here. Um, they come and tell me that he's not coming. You know, we had a meeting. He backed out. I was going to tell him. You know, I apologize. I didn't handle it the right way, and it continues to come up. There's, there's no reason for it. Um, I, honestly, I just think it's trash. You know, he, um, he had an unbelievable career, 25 seasons. He's a Hall of Famer. Uh, I saw his special on MLB Network. It was cool. You know, one thing that definitely um, stood out to me, he had zero former teammates in that interview, not one, talking about him. It was him talking about himself. If anybody ever does a special on me after baseball, I won't need to go on that interview. I will have former teammates. I will have former coaches. They can all vouch for me. He didn't have that. And to me, that is, um, that's all you need to know. That, that tells the entire story right there. You know, my teammates will vouch for me. My coaches will vouch for me. He doesn't have that. So he has to vouch for himself. And I'm going to stick up for myself at all times. I don't care what backlash I get, the negative attention. I'm, I'm fine with that. But I'm going to speak up for myself. I'm going to stand up for myself. And he either needs to move on or we can meet. One of the two. If he says he wants to move on, stop talking about it. That's, that's the way that I feel about it. Is that what, is that what disappoints you most anymore? That's absolutely what disappoints me the most. You know, he wants to move on, but he continues to go on the radio or, or do interviews about it. If you want to move on, move on. We're two grown men. We can meet. It's not going to happen. I yelled at you. I'm sure everybody in here has been yelled at. You know, it's, um, it was unfortunate that it happened. I wanted to tell him that face to face. And um, he chose not to show up. So how was that? How much do you think the Stroman thing was related to you? Um, I don't know. I mean, have you seen videos of Dennis Eckersley fishing? Have you seen the stuff that he did when he struck somebody out? Really? Like shooting him with a, a finger gun? Stuff like that? Come on. Stroman's out there saying, yelling, yeah? No. He needs to, um, he needs to wake up. How do you, how would you prefer he respond to questions when he is asked about it? I don't care. So he doesn't want to talk about it. Like he said, he wants to move on. If you want to move on, you move on. That's, that's it. David, do you plan to reach out to him again, or is it? I've already tried to reach out to him. You know, that's if he wants to meet, we can meet. I'm fine with it. I'll apologize to him face to face. I've done it. This is my third time now in front of the media. I'm sure he'll speak about it again. So. You get shocked every time it comes up again. Yeah, honestly, I am. You know, just um, that was two years ago. <laughs> two years, close to 800 days. That's, come on, dude. Do you feel regretful still of what happened? Um, I wish I would have handled it diff differently. Absolutely. I was, this is the third time I've said that in front of you guys. That feeling hasn't changed. It happened. I dealt with it. I moved on. He obviously hasn't.